Hello and welcome to the channel. And today's video is going to be a uh, how to uh, on adding height to your figures. Um, and a perfect example for a candidate here is the new Superman Hush from the Hush storyline from these, uh, the um, McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. Uh, this is just recently released, you know, within the past few months. Um, but a lot of the complaints about the figure was that he was too short compared to, you know, well, mainly the um, the Batman from the Hush line. Uh, so just for comparison. See if I can get them to stand up here. So here you have the two figures next to each other. And you can see that the heights are now pretty comparable. Um, well, it's not the straight, is it? You know, Batman is just slightly taller because of the ears, but in terms of like the eyes, the waist is a little off. That's because uh, Batman has longer legs, but everything is almost pretty much, you know, to equal length. So yeah, now Batman and uh, Superman can see pretty much eye to eye. So what it is it that I what is it uh, that I did here? Uh, it's been it's a mod that that's been going around, so it's not anything original. Uh, but uh, but again, you know, and there are other videos that have that have been showing off how to add height and all of that, swapping parts, this and that. But this is just using, you know, just the figure itself. No, no, no parts were swapped or anything. So one of the first things that you can do to add height to the, um, to the figure is swapping the neck peg. Uh, so this guy, has, his neck is usually shorter. I'm going to post an image uh, um, um, of, uh, of how you compare the old figure to of the original figure versus this you know, modded version. Uh, but you can see that, uh, you'll see that on, on that guy, his head is way too low on his head. So one of the things that you can do if you have spare parts going around, you can swap out the neck pick for one that is longer. Um, the one that comes with uh, the figure is blue. So, uh, so that's uh, just to let you guys know that I did swap out the neck pick for one larger. And now the head rests in a little more. There we go. On a little more natural position on the um, on the compared for the body, right? Um, so that's one of the things that you can do. The other two require a little more work, uh, which is adding length at the at the midsection and the legs. Now. For those examples, I'm not gonna tear the figure apart, uh, just because it's a lot of hard work to uh, tear it apart. Uh, so I'll, I'm gonna use spare parts just to show you what it is that you can do. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab uh, this spare um, Three Jokers Batman to uh, explain. So when you split the figure uh, uh, in half, um, um, you're gonna have the uh, ball peg stick out something like this, okay? So what you're gonna do is heat up 
this area, right? Uh, either you can dunk the whole thing or whatever. Um, but uh, the, the key is to heat up this point of the ball peg and the stem, right, that goes into the chest. You want to heat that up in order to be able to remove the, um, the ball peg system here. Once you remove that, the, um, the stem, you could say, has two rings around it, right? Uh, at, at separate lengths, they're not like close to each other, they're separated, you know, uh, so that when you plug that back in the, um, the, um, the peg, it's gonna sit firmly. Uh, but what you're gonna have to do to extend the, the torso a little bit is you wanna shove the, um, the ball peg system until you hear that first click um, so that that first ring makes a connection and that's it. But you don't wanna do it here. What you're gonna have to do is insert the ball first into the abdomen so you're gonna have to heat up the abdomen part where the ball peg go, where the ball goes into it, right? And then you have the stem exposed going outwards. And then with pressure from, because if you do it like this, if you insert the ball peg into the first uh, ring, once you hear the first ring, and then go into uh, and add pressure to join the abdomen, it's just gonna click the part even further again back to its normal state because of the, the force that you would be applying. So what you need to do is the reverse, right? Uh, put the ball into the abdomen section first, have the stem exposed, and then up, um, connect the uh, upper torso, the upper chest, the torso, upper torso, chest area, Connect it into the uh, the other right to the uh, the end that is sticking with the um, with the stem until you hear the first click go in, uh, and you should have something like this uh, on the back. I've already modified this uh, to separate the cape. On the back, you're gonna have this separation right here, so that when you uh, crunch them forward. You're gonna have this area open and exposed. All of this was covered up when the torso was all the way in, um, but it looks more natural this way. Like this is how it was supposed to always be, right? So that's one of the things that you can do to add length. It adds maybe like, um, let me grab the ruler, if I can remember. It probably adds like um, a quarter of an inch of length. And then the last thing that you can do is extend out the, the legs. And how do you do that? You do it, excuse me, you do it by extending the uh, socket that go, that holds the hips in place. So in a, something similar, you heat up this area of the uh, of the figure, the, the leg, right? You heat this up and you pull out this plug that goes in. Most of the builder figures are like this. Um, they have this part that connects into the leg uh, already jointed. Uh, so what you have to do is just shove this in to um, to complete the build a figure. But what you're gonna have to do here is the reverse. So what you're gonna have to heat this area up and then uh, you're gonna have to pull out this uh, plug that goes in. Now this plug, I don't know if they're all universal in that um, they all just have a mushroom peg at the bottom to connect uh, into the um, the inside of the, uh, of the mold, right? Uh, I don't know if there are, are different that have like ring system like the one on the peg for the uh, the chest, but for the but on this one, he had a, a ball a mushroom. I'm sorry, a mushroom peg at the bottom. So all you have to do again, heat this up, pull it out once it's really soft, 
and then uh, insert it back in until you get a first like uh, resistance, your first resistance that you feel on the inside, that should be enough. Again, um, the length that you, de the desired length is up to you. Uh, so for me, you can see how far out the peg is on mine compared to what it should normally be, right? So I probably added another quarter to uh, a quarter or so, a little more of length to the uh, to the leg. I actually ended up uh, breaking one of the um, one of the connectors here on um, on uh, on the I believe it was this leg, as I, I had uh, something. I, 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 um, uh, what is it? A Phillips head screwdriver through, shoved it through, and then to pull it out. Uh, but it ended up breaking the tab that around this part right here. So just be careful how you remove this. You gotta make sure that the whole, this entire leg, uh, the upper thigh, is really, really soft in order to remove the, uh, in order to remove the, um, the peg. Uh, so in total, I think the figure gained about half an inch of length uh, in between all three of the, uh, the modifications. Another thing that you can do, uh, again, uh, is, you know, swapping uh, kit bashing parts, adding length. That was one of the things that I was considering, maybe finding a figure with longer thighs, because that's the main problem on this guy. He's got really short uh uh, thighs. Uh, so one of the things that you could probably do is get if you have a spare, uh, you know, figure of the um, hush mold. <laughs> this Batman, you know, has extra long legs, and that's one of the things that makes this guy a little more out of proportion. Uh, but um, you can swap, you know, those thighs and put those on a Superman figure and you, you know, and without having to do a lot of the extension parts uh, or a lot of the extension, uh, uh, you know, fixing, you can just swap out uh, the legs, the upper thigh, and that would be enough to gain some height on the figure. So yeah, uh, that's about it. I mean, uh, the other thing that I've done to this figure is I, um, the skin tone. I added some, uh, added some um, this um, makeup kit uh, eyeshadow thing that I use to um, to shade figures. So I added, blended some uh, some colors to give him a, a more natural looking skin tone. Because the you know, for those who have the figure, you know he comes really pale looking. Uh, now he uh, now he has a little more natural skin tone thing going on. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do on this guy is just uh, give him a, a cloth cape. I uh, still don't know how I'm gonna do the uh, to add, add the S on the back of the cloth cape, but um, that'll probably be something down the line. Uh, but for now, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, this main this video was mainly just to show you guys how you can, uh, uh, you know, add length to the uh, Superman figure. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and all of that. And I will be seeing you in the next one.